I had planned on making and posting this video at the start of last week, the beginning of October, but ended up becoming preoccupied with a busy full on week, so I am finally getting round to it now. This is a short video about an interesting case from Ireland just over a week ago. Many of us are familiar with the Subway Sandwiches fast food chain. We know that if you place an order for one of their subs or sandwich rolls, the first question you are likely to be asked is what type of bread you want it on. Beyond this, we would probably not give any further thought to the bread Subway uses for its sandwich rolls. But its bread has been at the heart of a case that made it all the way to the Supreme Court of Ireland. The court was tasked with determining whether Subway's sandwich rolls could be legally defined as bread. In a judgment delivered on the 29th of September of this year by the Irish Supreme Court, a panel of five judges ruled that Subway's sandwich rolls cannot be legally defined as bread in Ireland. The judges ruled that Subway's sandwich rolls do not meet the definition of bread because of the level of sugar in their sandwich rolls, which stands at 10% of the weight of the flour used in the rolls. Now, why did this case even end up at the Irish Supreme Court? Well, the case was brought by a Subway franchisee who argued that its sandwich rolls should be exempt from VAT. You see, certain staple foods in Ireland are exempt from VAT, but in order to differentiate between bread as a staple food and other baked goods, the relevant Irish VAT legislation sets out a specific definition of bread as a staple food, which states that the fat, sugar and bread improver should not account for more than 2% of the weight of the flour in the product. The judges found that Subway's sandwich rolls do not meet that definition because the sugar in their sandwich rolls accounts for 10% of the weight of the flour. So that settled the matter and gave us all a catchy headline together with some knowledge about the sugar content in Subway's sandwich rolls. The case reminded me about the famous Jaffa Cakes case, where believe it or not, a court in the UK actually had to determine whether Jaffa Cakes were in fact cakes or biscuits. Similar to the Irish Subway sandwiches case, the Jaffa Cakes case concerned VAT classifications as well. Strong arguments were made in favour of McVitie's, the maker of Jaffa Cakes, arguing that they were cakes. The UK tax authorities, on the other hand, advanced an argument that they were biscuits. Lawyers for both sides argued over the point and battled it out. In the end, and after much discussion and careful consideration, the court found in favour of McVitie's and ruled that legally Jaffa Cakes are in fact cakes. So there you go. Now you know that in Ireland, Subway's sandwich rolls, as they currently are, cannot be legally defined as bread, and Jaffa Cakes are cakes and not biscuits. Some tough legal questions that have been carefully considered, determined and answered by the courts. Thanks for watching and see you next time.